obviously it was uh, fun to come back in the stadium uh, with our fan base. Uh, the students were, were outstanding in both end zones. It was just kind of fun to watch them again. Uh, when you look at the game, um, I told the team after the game that the Sun Devils actually played the Sun Devils tonight. Uh, it was bad football. It was sloppy football. Uh, it was embarrassing football, to be quite honest. And uh, with that being said, I've never had a bad win. Uh, we ended up winning. So with that being said, there's a lot of things we have to improve on, obviously. And um, when we stop playing the Sun Devils, because they're really not on our schedule, we might have a chance to, to be a pretty good football team. But tonight, we were not. We were not a very good football team. We, we were too emotional. And I could add, since that, I've been saying that, and hopefully now they'll listen. But I thought for the most part, we did some things fairly well. Our return game, I think, can be very good. We, we knew we could run the football, and we were able to do that. Um, defensively, uh, we like to try to take the ball away. We were able to do that as well. Got after quarterback some. Uh, passing game still is not quite sharp yet. Uh, but Jaden, I think, uh, is getting better all the time with those receivers. And um, the kicking situation is uh, interesting, to say the least. Very interesting. So uh, there's some things we got to fix. And uh, like I said, uh, the key was with the fouls, I think we had 11 at halftime, so we actually improved. We only got two to second half. So that makes it a grand total of 13. Um, that's just sloppy football. It's, just, it's hard to watch. And um, hopefully they'll take, take note and go, hey, we can't do this. Because it, it really hurt a lot of things we did well. It took some big plays away from us. In all three phases, it wasn't just anybody. Um, substitutions weren't, weren't smooth enough for me. Uh, we had a late substitution on the uh, point after. And um, I didn't want to call a timeout for a point after touchdown. <laughs> point after touchdown. So we have to have a mechanism when the clock gets under five seconds. If you ain't got enough guys out there, just chase, take the delay and don't try to rush it. I think that has something to do with the two. The young guy was trying to rush it, and then he kicked it in the back of somebody's head. So that, that's never good you know, when you're trying to kick a PAT. But um, for the most part, uh, it's fun to win a football game. I know that. And when you've been in it as long as I have, winning's fun. No matter how it looks. It's a win, and that's probably the most important thing. Questions? You have a microphone from Connor. Chris. In your comments there, Herm, it's, it seemed as though you almost expected that they might be a little bit emotional, commit some of these penalties. Can you just maybe expand on that part of it? Yeah, I know my team, and I could sense it, and I harped on it, and I kept telling them. And then he showed up. And so now they, they can believe me. You know, it's like, I tell them all the time, if I say it's Easter tomorrow, go home, start cutting your eggs. Because it's going to be Easter. I told them, hey, you guys going to mess around, man. Sun Devils are going to play the Sun Devils. And sure enough, they played them. They played them hard, too. They fought tooth and nail. Boy, they were trying to beat each other up. And we, we got we to get rid of that. That's, that's no good. That's, that's bad football. Hey, Coach, with Jaden going down with those cramps in the third, you guys got a chance to see uh, Trent play for yes. an extended period of time. What did you like from him, and how confident are you in the backup situation after seeing him in the game? Very, very good with our offense, very calm. Um, has a nice feel of it. Um, we, we, you know, do some different things with him probably than Jaden. You know, he's not going to be the runner Jaden is, but uh, he can run the offense. You know, Jaden was laying over there, and you know, I went over there and looked at him. I said, what's wrong with you? Oh, you want TV time? He said, what do you want? You know? Then I started talking to the other team. I started talking to Southern Utah. had all those kids over there. I said, you know what I'm going to do? I told those kids, I'm going to call his mom. She's going to come out and get him up out of here. I said, you want TV time? Coach, I said, all right, stop. But he cramped up. And I said, that's what you get for trying to run. Ooh, you want to run? You know, so he said he'll be fine. 
but um, he, he played good tonight. He really did. He did some good things. He, he threw the ball uh, pretty well at times, and um, he used his legs. And I told him, you got to make four first downs a game for me. It's your legs. And he, and he was able to do that tonight. Thank you. Uh, Coach Greg Moore, Arizona Republic, good to see you. Congratulations you. on the win. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I'd like to ask you about Darian. Uh, to me, I mean, he just looked smart out there, right? He looked like he, was, he knew where to be. What did you see? No, you're right. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing, a guy that's been here now four years and the captain. And he's an entirely different football player, you know, and get a sense of watching him play, his, his, his spirit, how, how he plays. He's the leader over there. He's the voice. Um, yeah, he, he knew, you know, the, the routes, AP did a good job with these guys this week. And, and our, our secondary coaches and the linebacker coaches are really having a good feel of what they were trying to run. We played a lot of man coverage. We covered our cats, you know, and they run a lot of mesh routes where they try to pick you off. And there were some things that we saw that you could call it off and let somebody else take it. And, and Darian did a nice job of, uh, he only got two interceptions, right? He got two. That's what I told him when he was running out of here. I said, you got two, man, in one game? I said, Still not close. I got four, so it's. Uh, I said you're getting close, though. So. I'm glad for him because he's a hard-working kid. He really is, and just to watch him mature from when we got him here uh, to right now, it's it's just it's 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 just satisfying and gratifying for him to have success like that. Yeah, Coach, uh, obviously Jermaine Lillet all, already out of the mix, and then you lose Tyler Johnson in the first half. So to use your words, did that create a little chaos there on the defensive line? Well, Tyler, uh, you know, he looks up and said, what did I do? I said, you don't even know what you did? No, and I said, you can't hit a guy with your helmet. I said, if you wanted to get out and you were tired, just let me know. But don't get thrown out the game. We need you, you know. So now all of a sudden he doesn't, he doesn't play, you know. And Tyler's a good player. I mean, he's a powerful guy. And... Uh, it's just a shame that uh, that targeting thing is real. I mean, I mean, if you lower your head and hit somebody, you're out of the game. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a hard foul. It really is. It's it's one that you, you don't recover from when you lose a good player. You know, it's like he's out. It's funny in the NFL they don't they don't do that. I wonder why. I wonder and why. Co and coach, uh, defensively too. I mean, Chase and in the secondary seem a few missed things first game, but. A lot of great tackles, too. I mean, did you see that from them, and what did you yeah, think of this overall I performance? Saw, I saw speed, and I saw confidence uh, in those guys. Um, they caught some balls on us, but they covered them. They covered them. Uh, they, cat coverage, cover your cat, right? We said we were going to do that, and um, to their credit, they went up there and did it, you know, and we're going to keep doing it. I mean, that's what we want to do, you know, and, and it allows you to bring more pressure. And you can bring five guys and you can cover guys and uh, make the quarterback hold the ball some. And the line did a pretty good job. Uh, we weren't clean on some of the stunts and games we were running, so we still got to work on that. But I like what I saw a little bit defensively. You know, I didn't like you know, there were some leaky runs, but we didn't fit it up quite right. We'll get that, we'll get that fixed. But um, for the most part, I thought defense played fairly well. You know, got the turn they got We turned the ball over and gave them a short field. And, uh, they scored on that one, and then they, they made a nice drive on us. And then other than that, when they did get in some scoring positions, we took the ball away a couple of times, which was good. So, Coach, it seemed like you said you guys were playing a lot of ugly football in the first quarter, yeah. but you guys were responding right away. I mean, you had the kick out of bounds and then the interception, yeah. roughing the punter, and then the fumble, yeah. illegal motion, big play right after. So seeing how they responded so quickly, how confident do you feel like you know, this group can put the fire out and fix the problem going down the stretch. Well, you can do that, you know, but here again, you, you're playing in a big time football game. You, you can't allow that. And I, it's funny because the kicker, I walked up to him. I said, hey, man, you're hitting a wedge. Just hit a wedge and kick the ball. And he looks at me and goes, yeah, coach. He took his driver out. Hit the driver, hit it out of bounds. I said, what are you doing? You know, it's just, but it's just, it's the first game. And when you're the coach in the first game, you, you just have this, this gut feeling of, what is this going to look like, right? Because you really don't know. You kind of think you know, but you don't know. You just say, how is this going to look? And, it, and it, it, was, it, was, it was bad. 
You know, it, I, and I kept going to, to all of them, saying, hey, stop, stop, you know, and finally when it got to 11, they stopped because halftime. Couldn't help it. And we went in and I told them, you know, hey, look. I said, offense, you're going to get the ball, you know, first opening drive. I said, no more penalties. We got penalty. Play. And, and, and not young guys, at least some, some older guys, you know. So it's just kind of like uh, this team wanted to play football. And I knew it. And, I, and they were so excited about playing. But they got emotional. They just they wanted to go. I said, just slow down. You're not going to win the game in the first quarter. It's a four-quarter football game. So hopefully we can learn some things from this. And we can, we can tighten it up. We, we, we got to tighten it up if we're going to be a good football team. Friday on Thursday? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Mac Friday Devils Digest. Coach, uh, B.J. Green was yeah. one of the more inspirational stories of the preseason fall camp. Comes in, gets a sack. How excited were you to see that? And can you just speak to that? The whole team was excited you know, for that young guy. He's a powerful young guy. It's funny. I mentioned I was talking. I, 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 I called him in practice one day. I said, hey, call him by his name, right? And he turns around. He looked at me and says, Coach, you know who I am? I said, what do you mean? I knew all you guys. Because the first time I, you know, because I generally call guys by the numbers. I just, that's what I do. I, I call players the numbers. I don't even call them by their name. They call them by the numbers. And I, you know, I said, hey, he turned around, looked at me, he said, Coach, you know my name? I said, yeah, I know your name. I was happy for him. And some of the other walk on kids that got in, you know, that's, that's always fun when you can see a walk on kid get in a football, college football game. And I think sometimes when you're a star athlete, you've been on scholarship, you're used to playing. You see some young guy that's a walk-on guy, mom and dad come to the game, and he gets to go in the game. That's special. It just is. I know it is. And, and the, the, you can put guys in that position to put them in the game, you try to do it. And that's important. Herm, so what is your sense of how much of the things you didn't like in the first game were attributable to it being the first game versus things that could persist? Some of them, look, I, look, who, you know, we're a better football team. I think that coach is a really good football coach, by the way. I do. And I told those kids over there, I said, you keep playing for this coach. Because he's a good man, he's a good football coach. And those kids are coached good. If you watch them schematically on offense, defense, special teams, He's got a good staff. I met with him. He, he came out here and I met with him um, a year ago, two years ago, whenever it was. And um, he is a good, he's a good football coach. And, um, you know, when you watch their team play, um, look, we, we're a better team. Right? I, mean, it's, I don't like saying that, but we just are. And those kids, they just battle, man. They don't. You never see them like tap out. They just play, they just keep playing hard. They just keep playing hard. They played hard against San Jose State. That thing got away from them early, and they just kept playing hard. And you know, we against us, and it was kind of tight because you know, we, and then all of a sudden it got away. And he's good about getting his young guys in the game too. You know, he saw that, and uh, you know, I, I just look at it that way. That I think our guys felt, look, we'll probably have a good chance of winning this game. You can't play. That, that, that's, yeah. I, I might not even go home. I might just watch the tape tonight and just get it out of my system. Oh, it was bad. I mean, it was, it was bad, man. It was like, wow. And it just kept coming. It didn't stop. You know, finally, the second half stopped. Only got two fouls. Right? But still, first half wasn't great. Right here, and then last one there. Coach, we talked about Trenton. Was there anyone that caught your eye in camp that you were able to plug in in the fourth quarter that stood out? Uh, uh, I don't know that. Uh, I don't want to mention one or two. I'll let you guys do that because when I mention one or two, then the parents from the other ones call me and say, well, why didn't you mention my son? So when you guys mention somebody, then I'll comment. And other than that, I, I figured that out. You know, being a college coach. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Herm, uh, not to beat the penalty thing into the ground. Go ahead. Beat it up, man. Beat as much as you want. What you want? What you want to know? <laughs> Early in the fourth, I saw you talking to Jaden and Rashad and pointing up at the board, and I assumed at, at the penalty yard. I was just wondering what you were saying to those two specifically about it. I said that is bad football. 
bad. I'm a bad coach. That's bad football. And we got to fix that. I said, if we're going to win games, the games that we want to try to win, you can't do that. You, you won't, it won't even be close. I mean, and a lot of them were just, some of them were emotional, you know, where guys were blocking and they got, and then some of them were just, why? I, you don't have to do that. And, and a lot of them, some of them were big games or big plays, right? On defense where you stopped them and you let them off. Or on offense and you had some big plays and it just came back. You know, or you're, you're, you're always at first and 15. It's like, you don't want to play like that. So hopefully it's a learning lesson for them. They knew. I mean, after this, when this, we got in the locker room, the players know. They know. You know, they knew what I was going to say. But... It's a W. That's the more important thing.